During Perestroika, Ukrainian textile industry enterprises had two options of development. They could sue from customers supplied raw materials and send everything for export using foreign trademarks. They could also work with imported or domestic raw materials and sell their products under their own brand name both in the Soviet Union and abroad. First, they had to sell their products in their own stores. To fill the shelves, the enterprises started producing a wide range of textile goods, from bedding sets to kitchen towels. To make an enterprise operate 24-7, thousands of different textiles were developed and produced. However, things changed as time passed. Today, besides bed sheets and pillowcases, they sew products for the army, such as sleeping bags, coats and various nets. Separatists have caused considerable damage to the Ukrainian textile industry. In Ukraine, there were two plants which produced fabrics. One of them was located in Donetsk. At the beginning of the military conflict, shells hit that plant. The enterprise is no longer operating. The second enterprise in Western Ukraine cannot provide every company with raw materials. That is why fabrics are imported from Pakistan, China, Moldova, Azerbaijan and Turkmenistan. High-quality wool for blankets and plates was also produced in the Donetsk steppe region, as well as in Crimea. The Crimean Tatars knew how to breed sheep to achieve an excellent quality of wool. Currently, Ukrainian blankets are made of New Zealand merino wool. In the times of globalization, it is not that difficult to find producers from all over the world. Price is the main issue here. The more expensive raw materials are, the less competitive Ukrainian textiles will be. And this is a weak point, especially for exports, as today the Ukrainian enterprises take orders from the supply of blankets, plates, bedspreads and mattresses for European army units, hospitals and penitentiaries. Ukrainian textiles are exported to the EU and Baltic countries, the US, Canada and CIS countries. The taste in textiles differ in different countries. Therefore, every year our producers change their export strategy. One year, plates and blankets with deer are a hit, but a year after, those with sheep patterns and embroidery are the most popular. Consumers often pay attention to decorations when they buy bedding sets for children. Moreover, this rule usually works in different countries. The tastes of consumers are practically the same in Estonia, Poland and Ukraine. It is always a challenge to create textile products for children. The thing is that children's designs should be developed taking into account the taste of adults who would buy bed linen for their kids. Although psychologists from all over the world say that it is better to select bedding together with your children, in that case you will most likely choose fabrics with fairy tale characters. Psychology plays an important role when people buy things for children. Being money conscious when buying things for kids is not acceptable. For that reason, children's clothing, bedding sets and toys are more expensive all over the world. High quality of bed linens is of great importance for children, so the textiles are sent to laboratories for testing quality control using a special device. Air permeability of the linen is tested with the help of this device. To make the duvet cover comfortable to sleep under, every cubic meter of it should let in a minimum of 100 cubic decimeters of air per second. By the way, we can influence this indicator. Even perfect natural fabrics can be clogged if they are ironed often. For the same reason, starching linen is also not highly recommended. We should emphasize that bedding, especially for children, should not contain formaldehydes, according to the official standards in Ukraine. Cotton and linen are considered to be ideal fabrics. Linen is perfect for people with allergies, as the products made out of it are hypoallergenic. However, other fabrics are also valued. Thus, sateen jacquard bedding looks beautiful. It is a one-color fabric, which comes off the machine already with a pattern. This fabric is one of the most durable fabrics for bedding. Ukrainians prefer bright-colored bedding sets. That is the reason why a lot of colorful sets are produced, but traditions differ in different countries. In the East, the colors are more saturated, while in the West, people prefer pastel shades. We are somewhere in between Europe and Asia. So to say, our bedding is brighter than that in Europe, but is more reserved than Eastern bedding. However, everything that has to do with classics has practically no borders. Both abroad and in Ukraine, there are people who prefer one-color bedding sets of light shades. Textiles with embroidery are also always in fashion. Embroidery is used in bedding for both children and adults. Artists who work at textile enterprises create designs. They develop the designs especially for machines, calculate stitches, and then, for example, a bear is created. New designs are created approximately once in 2-3 months. A lot of embroidery works are exported. They are not developed exclusively for every country. Foreign dealers choose what they need. If they want to emphasize its Ukrainian origin, they take those with ethnic motives. And the Baltics, for example, often choose embroidered patterns of pastel colors. 
Modern machines can work on 12 embroideries simultaneously. Each embroidered garment contains from 9 to 12 colors. Using professional slang, a pattern on bed linen can weigh from 15,000 to 90,000 stitches. A special thread is used, as the machine won't operate with any other kind of thread. Unfortunately, these threads aren't produced in Ukraine. They are imported from Germany, Turkey and China. Ukraine also lacks high-quality textile equipment which is why our enterprises also buy it abroad. Entrepreneurs believe that modern equipment will make it possible to produce textiles of a higher quality, and perfect home textiles made in Ukraine will not be worse than imported ones. But Ukrainian bedding sets will be cheaper, so we have all the chances to cover the entire European continent with Ukrainian blankets and plates.